got a guy like that, a guy like that, a six four, and you got a chance to like that. going on welcome back everybody we are days away from kickoff we got a fun game coming to us on thursday night with the uh the chiefs and the lions but we're here to bring you the preview with the giants man we got that sunday night game they're gonna make us wait all day sunday to come and watch <laughs> our boys play some ball but we got some exciting news ahead of the game too as well man uh terrence still got that extension locked in five years 86 mil 50 guaranteed and uh we locked in one of uh hopefully the cornerstones of our, our offensive line tell me how you're feeling about that move yeah, good for Terrence, man. Only thing is, I I wish it was like a year early on this thing. Right. It, it goes to show you, you know what I mean? You wait a little bit, the price goes up. But, I mean, he deserves it, man. Uh, Terrence still been solid. You know what I mean? He, he's shown he's, he's been a hard worker. Everybody love him, you know what I mean, down there in Dallas. And, uh, you know, he had an injury. And then what else shows a guy's character about the way the way that he's been grinding and, you know, worked his way back. And, uh, you know, the arrow pulling up. So, you obviously want to pay guys like that. As far as the right tackle position, I mean, he's one of the better ones in the league. You know what I'm saying? So, if it's anything we know on that right side, you got him, you got Zach Martin, a hey, everything is solid right there. Happy to have Turner still back. Yeah, this contract does put him in the top ten amongst the uh, the right tackles in the NFL. We also had a quick restructure on the Neville Gallimore deal. I think they freed up just over a mil. What do you think's coming our way with that move? I don't, I don't know, man. Uh, I feel like if we was to make any small moves at this point, I think we had enough money to do so. At this point, it just seems like they chipping away that they moving a little money, a little money here and there. I don't think a Dak um, Prescott extension is coming right now. I think that'll be something that's that's tabled to the end of the year. To the season is over. If it's if it's anything, I would hedge my bet on. I would have to say maybe they kind of moving some chips to the table for the City Lamb deal. Ooh, wouldn't that be a nice surprise right before the season? And I would I would love to get him. You know what I mean? That deal, because if Justin Jefferson has the type of yeah, I think he's going to have, and then he's going to come back to the table and get the deal that, you know what I mean, probably going to blow this whole receiver um, position through the roof as far as contracts go, I think we want to deal with CeeDee Lamb right now. Because CeeDee Lamb is going to have one of those type of years, too. Uh, mark my word on that. I, I like it. I like it. Um, We got the Giants this weekend, man. And uh, while we made the playoffs last year, this team did as well, man. Talk to me a bit about how you're feeling about this matchup. No, nah, I mean, I'm feeling good. You know what I mean? We we always get the Giants week one. Um, But listen, man, Dak has owned the Giants, and you don't want to hang your hat on, you know what I mean, the history of it. I mean, I know we can't. It's a new team every year. And I will say this. um, The Giants are a much improved team. Um, This is not a team you want to come in here and, uh, and sleep on. They got some new weapons. They got Wilder in there. Um, You know what I mean? The offensive line is much improved. Uh, they got some cornerstones over there. Andrew Thomas. Um. That's going to be a sight matchup that we'll get into. But uh, they got some good players in the defensive line, man. Uh, they got some players over there. Leonard Williams, Dexter Lawrence. I like what they have there. And uh, they got two good coaches. And we got a good coaching staff. And then the second year, that system, um, you know what I mean? I, I think it's a good team. But at the same time, even though they're a better team, I feel like we're a much better team as well, man. Um, we got all these guys back together. We finally get to see what this Brandon Cooks and, uh, you know, I mean, CeeDee Lamb duo looks like. And on the outer side of that, we can say the same, man. And, and Stephon Gilmore, I'm I'm so excited just to see what that's going to look like come Sunday. Bro, I can't wait. No, and you hit it on the head with that, man. This is a good coaching staff that the Giants have, and it is uh, going into their second year, man. So I do think that they will be an improved team. But I got to take the boys in this one. Like, you hit it, oh, yeah, you sure. hit it on the head. Uh, <laughs> position to position, man. Maybe, maybe outside of tight end running back. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I, I give him that. But then right. I, I feel like it's all like name value. Um, right. As a player, like I love Saquon, but I feel like Tony Pollard can be in that conversation, just given the opportunity. And the same thing, like Waller, he's yes, I, I guess you could say he's proven the last couple of years. You know, whether it's been injury, he's a a, a surefire talent. But I don't think they know about Jake Ferguson yet. I think we could see him explode. So it's like. The positions that we have those questions about, we got some guys that's, you know what I mean, waiting to kind of uh, mail their ticket in and put their name out there, man. I, I think they're on the way. One thing that has me uh, kind of nervous about this game, man, um, the uh, Tyler Smith hamstring strain, he's going to be sure. day-to-day, but I don't think that he'll be 100% come Sunday. So I do wonder what the plan will be there because we are going up against a, uh, a good defensive front. Also, Dono, I know he's trending that way. I don't see him playing this weekend. Um, and I think – 
it probably would be a good idea to rest him. We kind of need him later in the season. Talk yeah, you don't. Bit. Yeah, you don't. Um, he's day to day. Um, he, he's working back. He hasn't even practiced yet. But I think this is is positive signs for what we want to see during the season. I don't want to rush anybody back. And I and I think also, you know, that kind of wears me a little bit with the Tyler Smith situation. If he's not out there 100, percent I don't want to push this thing too much. But um, I'm gonna have to have my my faith in the Cowboys staff. Um, they generally do good, you know. what I mean, with the guys and resting them and kind of making sure they're ready to go, man. So it, it's something to to keep an eye on. Um, you know what I mean? Come, we, we just had to keep an eye on it, man. I hope it's all good. And I'm a little nervous. I, I'm, I can't even sit here and fake to you not. Um, you know what I mean? Especially with the, you know, the time situation. What this? This is our insurance plan for right. whatever could go wrong. You know what I mean? If Zach goes out, if this guy goes out, it's still, you know what I mean? This is our do it all guy right here. So uh, definitely something to keep an eye on. But um, as far as the injury news, I mean, I, I know Sam Williams is out. Um. You know, the Cowboys, they didn't practice. I, I want to say they're going to be off tomorrow. I, I just have to check into it. But as far as him, he was a, a DMP. He didn't practice. And uh, I think he's trending towards not playing. But, um, you know, outside of that, I, I think it's all go, man. I think everybody else is ready to roll. Hey, man, and that's exciting. Um, On the Giants side of things, uh, they – that defensive front, man. You know, I need I need 10 hamstrings. On our offensive line at all times, bro. We got nine going against. I, that, I, I'll that front. pull my hamstring off and give it to him if I can. What? But no. So talk to me a bit about your favorite matchups and what you're most excited to see headed into this game. Uh, favorite matchups, for real, man. Just all receiving core against the secondary, man. I, I think um, two things is like a two bird. You know what I mean? Two birds, one stone type of deal for me because I, I think you know what I mean. If I, if I'm talking matchups. But I'm also talking about key key ways to win this game. I think it's attacking these guys and attacking them early, man. So you know, what I mean, if I was just to take a, a you know, I mean, a quick look at that at that secondary they got over there, man, and and the names you see, man, um, you know, obviously you got a rookie and Deontay Banks in there, Adoy Jackson. We've seen what CD did to him on his own, man. So you know, what I mean, outside of that, Cordell Flat say I don't need Darnell Home. Let's. It's a lot of it's a lot of guys out there that's gonna be they gonna be in trouble they gonna be on the fire so when I think one of the most important matchups for me I would say our wide right receiver core um, against that second there but um, if you're talking about like one of my favorite matchups is saying I, I do want to see J Ron Curse uh, he got that new number one on you know what I'm saying he, he's coming out man and you know what I mean people people have him underrated you know what I mean but one thing he does do and Cowboy Nation know he does it well is this lockdown tight ends out here man we we've, we've seen him do it. And uh, that him and Wallace situation, that that matchup right there, man, it's going to be fun to watch. Uh, who you got? That's probably what I'm most excited about. I'm ready to see the tight end eraser. But but I am bummed because I, I would be really curious to see what DeMario Overshone could have done against oh, the man. Darren Waller, man. Uh, I'm really, really interested to see where these tackles are for the uh, New York Giants, man. And they got a test up ahead of up ahead with, uh, with D-Law and Micah on the way. You know, they got studs, like you said, uh, on that offensive line, but – when you look at our pass rush, man, it's 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 very terrifying. And containment on Daniel Jones is going to be key. Um, for sure. For sure. Outside of that, bah. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm not I'm not too worried, man. Um, it, it's like when I look at this game, man, it's it's crazy. I don't really see it being a, a shootout. You know, I, mean? I, I think the Giants uh would do themselves well if they can, you know, what I mean, muddy this thing up. Um, you know, what I mean, making one of those type of games, which they they had the team to do, man. Like I said, they got they got the big boys up front, man, and we know it all comes back down to the trenches, it, it, and that's what it's going to come down to. You know, what I mean, when I think about skill positions and I think about our our secondary and our strengths versus their strengths, uh, you know, what I mean? I'm taking our secondary, like you said, um, uh, outside of tight end and and running back, you know, what I mean, I'm not too worried. But then when you think about those positions, I'm good with a Javon Crash locking down on Walla. And, you know, Saquon, outside of his one big run, you know, J Cowboys generally do very well against Saquon. We kind of hold on. So I'm not too concerned there. And then you think about the guys coming off the edge. I can't wait to see that Micah and uh, Andrew Thomas situation. And he, comes, he it's not just going to be that. He's going to be moving around. But you all know D-Law, man, uh, he comes to play when he plays in New York. Oh, when he plays in New York, period, man. Yeah, absolutely. The uh, other thing I'm really excited to see, you mentioned the trenches, man. Uh, our offensive line versus that defensive front, man, I think is going to be really important. You mentioned the uh, the DBs over there, but if that front starts cooking, man, at home Sunday night, we could find ourselves in trouble. But, I mean, I'm not even too really worried about that, for real. The, uh, I want to see what TP does, man, against that yeah. defense. Uh, I'm, I'm pumped for that. But as far as the kicking game goes, 
Well, how are you feeling about going into the season with uh with Aubrey right here? I mean, this this is the unknown, right? You know, I mean, at some point, you know, I mean, you got to flip the page and all we could do is have fingers crossed at this point. But I think the first game, uh, let's just hope it doesn't come down to anything like that. And I don't think it will, man. When you when you look at the spread, uh, I see we had uh, minus three and a half. Uh, so they got a less they got a, a pretty close game right now. So let's not hope it comes down to a field goal, one or two uh, things like that, man. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I'm a little worried, but I think in the preseason he showed up well. He missed the kick, um, but he showed some resilience. He came back, hit one. So, um, you know, until he shows me he, he can't do it, I, I got to roll with him right now. I think he'll be all right. Man, we got football on Sunday night, bro. We got the Dallas man. Cowboys playing Sunday night, bro. Uh, bro, I, I'm so juiced up, man. And then it's like I, I do hate having that late game, right? And it be, because if we win, then then I'm so juiced up. I'm going to be up all night. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm Listen, I'm going to be amped up. And if I don't even want to think about the hypothetical losing. But you know how it is if you going somewhere the next day, man, it's fresh on the mind. I just like getting that dub early, early Sunday. Then I just get to lay back and just watch all the football, man. But, hey, look, the whole world going to be watching. I think I think the boys going to show well, man. I think so. There's a lot of doubters out there, too, surprisingly. So we got the line sitting at three and a half, the over under at 46 and a half, as you mentioned. Which side are you leaning on with those two numbers? Uh I'm a I'm a cover. I'm gonna take us on the spread. Um, even okay. though even though I think it'll be um uh, it's gonna be a nice I, I think a hard fought game early. I think at some point the Cowboys kind of spread this thing. I'm I'm not saying it's gonna be a blowout. Um, but I, but I'm leaning us towards I, I would say about, you know, I mean, maybe even on a close to 10, 11 side, to be honest. You know what yeah. I mean? And, and as far as the over, I don't really think it's going to be a high scoring game. And, and I talked about, you know what I mean, slowing it down, um, the, what the Giants going to do. But I think Mike McCarthy has the same vision. If you if you talked about some of his philosophies and what he wants to do, I think once we get a hit, he's going to lean on his defense. It's not going to be a lot of uh, Pat and Nick Keller more while we're up. It's still passing, passing, passing. I think we'll take our shots. But I think you'll see them lean on this running game. And, you know, you see your boy Terrence still. Remember how that run game was when he was still in there. And people forget the effect that it had on our team once he left out. We, we wasn't able to lean on that right side. And I think if we got that, along with a Tyron Smith, who we didn't have last year, this might be the first time we get to look at all five guys out there together. And, um, you know, I, mean, I think they'll lean on the run game. And I, I'm leaning towards a, maybe like a 24-13 type game, honestly. Okay, how you, okay. How you feel? No, I, I do anticipate a dogfight early, man. And uh, I don't know. I, I think it'll be tight. I don't think it's going to be crazy. I I don't see 10-11. I could actually see a situation where it is a field goal game and the Giants cover. But the 46 and a half, like, I, I'm thinking like 24-21-ish, maybe somewhere around there, 17-21 maybe. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm taking the under for sure. But no, I can't wait to play in the Meadowlands Sunday night, bro. I, I listen, Listen, man. It's it's gonna be fun, man. I, th I think some Dallas Cowboy fans. I think we're gonna show up. Uh, we we normally travel well, and then you know what I mean I, I just can't wait, man. The, the defense, it, it, like, what am I most excited to see? I've been seeing this all offseason, man. I just can't wait to see what it looks like, man. We we see it all on paper, right? Uh, we have the team. We have all the answers. I think we kind of got everything set at every position. Like, if I was to ask you, what are you worried about? Um, we're not really worried about what they're going to do to us now. I'm kind of more so worried about uh, a Tyler Smith injury and, and things right. of that nature. But position by position, oh, man, we got some guys, man. We got some dogs. And I just want to see it all come together. Yeah, And, you know, as you mentioned, this offensive line, if healthy Sunday night, if we do get Tyler Smith in there, that's going to be the first time we see the offensive line that has been built uh, actually fully intact. And then TP gets to run behind that, man. And I, I can't wait for that. The uh, – I really am curious to see how much we get to pull Mozzie out there Sunday night as well, man. Uh, I'd love to see him get in there and have like a tackle for loss on Sunday night, man. Yeah, and, and um, they got they got the young boy in the middle, John Michael Smith, and we might see some rookie on rookie action. I know a lot of people um, on the Cowboys side want to target him in, in, in the middle rounds, man. And you know, I mean, they got some they got some promising prospects, you know, I mean, on the, on the Giants side as well. And then you know, as as far as coaching as well, man, like like we talked about Brian Dayball, he got them boys ready, and then. Look, we can smarten Dell, you know, him and that Mike McCarthy finally calling the plays. It's going to be a fun matchup, just kind of seeing them two match up and, and seeing how they take it, you know, when we come Sunday. We we might even get a, a nice bit of Damon Clark uh, Sunday night as well for the first time, man. I'm excited a lot, to see a that. Lot of a lot of Damon Clark, man. A lot I'm, of, I'm pumped for that. I got him leading the team at tackles. Yeah? Yeah, for sure. I think he'll be all over the field. I can't wait to see him. Bro. 
either him or I would say J-Ron. I'm a J-Ron. Yeah, I can see J-Ron. LVE, no. How many sacks Mike are getting? More than everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's start, he starting off that campaign. I think he's starting off hot, man. That's a, If it's one, I, it's so many things you want to see. Like you mentioned the Mon, and then we want to see TP, and then you want to see, like, bro, like, Micah, like, he, like I said, what he's been doing, the work he's been putting in, we've seen that. Like, a lot of mm-hmm. people, they go in the dark, and you know what I mean? You, you don't see it as much, but I seen, it felt like every single day, it just seemed like it was another clip for him, like, getting that work in, man, whether it was boxing or he's out there in the sand pits. He's picking, like, he's doing every single thing every, every day, man. Uh, you know, I just can't wait to see what it looks like this year, especially with him talking like, hey, I'm not just going to be out there chasing sex. But at the same time, knowing he's going to be lined up at that defense end, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. as much as he's going to be. So it's a lot more opportunities for him as well.